Hey y'all, it's Chimdi. We're vlogging. We're vlogging again. I'm very excited because I just finished putting painter's tape all around one of the walls in my bedroom and I am going to do an accent wall. I'm very excited. I wanted to do one anyway, but um, I'm creating this online course and the feedback I got was very much girl. I made y'all to spruce up that background, which I fully understand. I was on board with that. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way, I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. sort of like a mint green, like a very light mint green color. Kind of like one of these cushions I have. It's very light, it's like a light green color. After this, I'm gonna, I'm actually right now on a call with one of my clients. We do these accountability calls where we literally just like for an hour get together, do our own work separately, and then we come back at the end and just say how we did. And so she's working on her stuff and I'm working on this vlog and on this accent wall. And then I actually have another call. I have a Q&A call with someone who wants to ask questions around starting a YouTube channel. So I'm going to have that. We can have an organic conversation and just see what comes from it, you know? Perfect. That's what I'm all about anyway. And then, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go, but tonight, okay, we get it, outside. Tonight there is a remote year meetup for like the folks who are based here in New York City. I have not met any remote year people. Like the social anxiety part of me is just like, that's a lot of people. But since I'm about to be like a remote year ambassador slash I am one now, I'm like, this would be good. This would be good FaceTime, you know, rub some elbows. I'm gonna go to the Home Depot, pick up some stuff. I'm pretty excited. All right, y'all, so I am back from Home Depot. Ugh. I got a nice set of things, plastic for the floor, and then I painted a few walls in my time, and I always find that I have paint left when I use a gallon, so instead, I bought a couple of quartz this time. I've got some white walls that I'm gonna paint over because they've got like random marks in the, on them and stuff, and I'm also using the lone box trick of like painting the edges white first and then painting the color because apparently that allows for like leak free kind of finish. And then the color that I got, the most exciting part, I got this mint green color called Peppermint Patty in Glidden. So I'm really excited to see what this looks like on the walls. Just having the tape up makes me realize like, oh, this is gonna have a really big impact on the space, which has me very excited. It's green, but it feels warm. <laughs> so I'm hoping that it works well as my new background for one of my walls. Part of me thought like, oh, what if I had like a different color over here? So depending on the mood, I could have different backgrounds for 
for YouTube videos, but I was like, no, I need a cohesive space. And it's interesting because I'm staying in Brooklyn and I love my neighborhood. I love this apartment, love my roommates. And I know that, you know, I might be heading to Mexico in a little bit. Like a lot of things could shift and change. So it's interesting feeling into, you know, just how much I want to really invest in this place. While I'm here, I want to love it and I want to enjoy it. So I am very excited. Before we get too far also, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments. Do you have an accent wall in your room slash home? What color is it? Okay, <laughs> let's keep it pushing. morning so far. I'm feeling really, really blessed. I feel the most blessed in the mornings because I get to ease in and relax into my day. I get to wake up slow. I get to read and journal and just like stare out at the clouds like it's a very different energy as a way of starting my day than it used to be back when i used to work for an organization and it's interesting because i just had a call from the job that i applied for and they were like yeah girl the fact that you have a whole ass reality show that you're contractually obligated to participate in. It's just so interesting because, especially in the mornings, I'm like, man, can you imagine having to wake up early <laughs> and do <laughs> a job for someone else? Ooh, and I had that thought in the back of my mind while I had applied, but I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna give it energy because I was focused on attracting what was meant for me. You know, the truth of that, of it not being necessarily aligned with my lifestyle, you know, it can't be ignored. The other thing that was really huge for me actually was, I was very upfront in the very first phone call I had with them, I was like, by the way, there is this reality show, I am contractually obligated. And I was just reflecting to my friend about how an earlier version of me, and at the moment that I said that on the call, I kind of knew like, that's gonna be a, <laughs> that's gonna be a problem, you know? And an earlier version of me would have been too scared to say, anything because she would have known that it would have been a problem but she would have been so rooted in that lack mindset around well I have to get this job I need this job like I need this money etc etc so she would have not mentioned it she would have gotten the job but she would have had that sense of guilt the entire time and the show would get picked up and then she'd have to tell her team and all of the people who were like relying on her and who trusted her to say hey actually I didn't tell y'all this thing and it is a contractual obligation so I do have to go and that would cause a lot of hurt and disappointment and judgment and self-loathing and all these things and I'm just like in real time I'm realizing my growth because the things that truly I really didn't know what I've done a couple of years ago now I'm like it's not worth it <laughs> like it's really not worth it and I can make those choices because of a groundedness in abundance in it's okay like there's money coming from lots of places you can create and you can trust that you are creating a life that is fully aligned to how you want to live mornings and all and so you don't have to worry about compromise on the things that are really important to you. And it feels so good to understand that and, and be able to embody and live in the truth of that. Once I realized how far I had come in that way, I was like, oh, let's raise these prices. <laughs> and I immediately went and I raised my coaching prices. And I had a woman who was interested and she like confirmed, but she hadn't booked a call yet. And I was like, hey girl, the prices have gone up. It's so cool that in real time, I'm like supporting folks who see where I'm at in terms of my life and 
my alignment and are and are interested in getting there and I'm in real time seeing where other people are in their alignment and I'm like yeah and I'm and we're all moving in the same direction towards more growth and more expansion so yeah I'm actually about to have like a little, have a little bit of time until my next coaching call so I think I'm actually gonna do some meditation I've got about Ooh, we love an angel number. It's one, two, two, one, twelve, twenty-one. So I've got about forty minutes or so. I've got like some errands, like laundry, things like that to do. And then yesterday, I didn't have a lot of footage, but essentially I kind of reorganized my room. I am loving this accent wall. It makes me very happy. So I like reorganized my room and I'm really loving it. And it was so great to wake up for the first time and like the way my bed is oriented, I can like stare right out at the clouds and see the sun. It's so nice. I love Brooklyn. I love living here so much. And then my friend <laughs> slid his hand in oh, no. and pulled my hand <gasps> and broke it. Oh. <laughs> I know, violent. <laughs> oh, you're not supposed to look at your cards. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I apologize. I don't know the rules. just got back from the rooftop hang. It was so fun. It was so fun. My first rooftop hang in Brooklyn and it was so cool. Everybody was so dope and it was so diverse. I was like, oh, I'm in a modern American city. And that sunset, wow. Wow. That was really incredible. That was really, really incredible. Like, oh, I feel very blessed. Martine is feeling good. I'm feeling really, really well. I'm a little bit sweaty because I did a whole little dance. Oh, and if you can tell, this is a different color. So I painted an accent wall because I'm making a vlog because y'all was like, fucking vlog. And I was like, okay, I should turn my camera You know what? I will. I'm going to turn my camera on so y'all can get how much work it takes to make vlogs. You got to stay recording shit. Okay, hold on. Okay. Recording. So here we are, <laughs> YouTube community, making a vlog about the live. Do you see how meta this is? Martine, Nelson, Friday, Dana, they're all here. <laughs> Dana's saying I'm a rocket as a blogger. I appreciate you. Girl, we 
with confidence. When I go all the way around, I hips and take my sip on it. Take a trip on it. When I go, you can go slow. Wind it up on night. Jam, 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 jam,